Macbeth themes ambition. So ambition is one of the most important themes in the play. Both Macbeth and Lady Macbeth are led to commit their uh, crimes because of their desire for power. And Shakespeare shows that ambition can take over a person and corrupt all of their good qualities. At the beginning of the play, Macbeth is portrayed as a brave and noble man, but by the end, he's a tyrant and will let nothing stand in the way of his power. In Macbeth, the play, ambition is shown to destroy those who aim to win power unfairly. Lady Macbeth is consumed by guilt for her actions and she goes mad while Macbeth creates his own downfall by making enemies of Malcolm and Macduff who swear to avenge Macbeth's crimes. Uh, Macbeth's ambition is also shown to bring him nothing. Although he wins what he wanted by the way of the crown, he loses everything else, including his morals, his friends, his wife, and obviously ultimately his life when Macduff kills him. Shakespeare doesn't present ambition itself as evil. Other characters in the play are also ambitious, so Banquo is ambitious, Malcolm and Macduff, they all want greater things for themselves or their families, but these characters don't allow their ambition to come before their morals. Shakespeare shows that those who sacrifice their honour to win power are unfit to be leaders. In terms of ambition and the context in which Macbeth was written, in Shakespeare's time, it was, it was accepted that God created all living things and he set out their order in the universe, almost like a hierarchy of people in relation to each other. People believe that God decided the place of everything, including people's roles in society. This idea was called the great chain of being. And kings and queens were believed to have been chosen by God and they were the next level down from God in terms of the chain of being. And that idea was known as the divine right of kings. A crime against the king was therefore a crime against God, which obviously was particularly shocking to heavily religious people in the society, which of course most of the society of that time was. Uh, Macbeth's ambition to become king means that he overthrows the natural order of the world and is committing a direct sin against God, a grievous transgression which the, the audience of the, of the time would have viewed as especially villainous. If you want this information available in written form, then please check out our revision guide on the Twinkle website. There are also a number of other Macbeth revision videos available on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.